Because we are in the process of moving our culture into cyberspace. And whenever you find something to be done entirely with computational and communicational techniques, without using physical objects, you make progress in that program. And so Bitcoin was the first blockchain to show us that there was something you could do to create a digital phenomenon with some of the characteristics of gold, a physical phenomenon, uh, but entirely with digital techniques. And so that, I think, is the great thing that blockchain shows us. And there will probably be more extensions of this discovery and other discoveries of that kind. Quantum computing happens to threaten a narrow, though very important, category of cryptographic techniques, Diffie-Hellman being one of them. Uh, it threatens it threatens some aspects of blockchain, but not all aspects of blockchain. And I think, I had to have my opinion, yes, you can, even if it is dramatically successful, and that isn't at all clear yet, it will be possible to cope with that, that threat and continue to have the benefits of blockchain without some, with new techniques that will have to replace the current. The internet has become, it's a funny example where the word, most of the time this is not a good thing. When you have a word that's sort of a buzzword and keeps adapting as to what it really means. But in the case of the internet, I think that's a good thing. And some set the internet means the one network, the network that connects everything. And I think we have discovered that we have begun to learn how to manage such, we have networks condensing, contracting, we have fewer and larger networks as time goes on, and I think that process is going to continue, and once again, the scale of China is likely to prove very important.